Hello, I'm Ben Russell. I'm the curator of mechanical engineering at the Science Museum in London. I look after all the big uh, heavy metal uh, objects, big industrial things around the museum. One of the really big things we, I look after is James Watt's workshop. Watt was this big, rather miserable Scottish guy. He invented the steam engine. He was one of the first industrial heroes of the 19th century. But when he retires, uh, he actually retires to the top of his house in Heathfield in Birmingham. And he does a lot of work on sculpture. And actually, what we've got here is the whole of Watt's sculpture workshop. The Watt in the middle one, as you can see, he's coming across as this sort of classical, you know, Greek or a Roman emperor. But what's the most interesting thing for us here is actually this mold, this brown thing wrapped in string, which you can see here. This is a real, uh, an absolutely intriguing object for us. It was like a 3D jigsaw, 41 pieces held together. We wanted to find out what it was about. So we took it and we did some 3D printing work with it. The whole of the mould was taken to pieces and then we did a laser scan of the surface of the inside of the mould. And when we took all those different bits of scan and digitally stitched them together, what we realised was that this was a mould for making a previously unseen bust of what, which was quite an amazing discovery for us. Now what we had to do, we had to take this digital thing and say, well, how on earth do we Give, turn this into a, a, a 3D object. And so what we did was we used 3D printing. Now, 3D printing is, is, is quite a, is a really bloody brilliant new technology which is coming up. I think we should go and have a look at that now. Right, so what we've got here is the, the finished product of this 3D printing process. This is a quite amazing uh, portrait of what? Now again, no, one's, no one had ever seen this before, before we produced the 3D printed version of it. So here's what, we, we left all the mould lines, the lines that are left from the inside of the moulds on it. So it's, and it, it, although it's made in nylon, uh, we, we chose that because it actually looks quite plaster-like. It's quite white and quite sort of granular in its consistency. And it's a lovely thing. And what's amazing with 3D printing is that you can actually make all sorts of different sized versions of it. So this is actual life size, and we digitally shrank him down to produce a little tiny copy of him as well, which is really uh, rather, rather, rather smashing. In the Science Museum this year, we've got a, we've got a what we're calling 3D summer. It's a, it's a, it's a summer of events and a, a trail around the museum, which tie into a, a big uh, exhibition we have about 3D printing. What is you can do, you can come to the museum, you can pick up a leaflet like this and you can follow a trail around the museum which looks at some of our 3D printed objects and uh, some of the quite amazing things which we can create using the 3D printing techniques.